Hi guys, welcome back to Mom Tech. It's time when kids summer break is about to end and for moms too as getting ready for school in morning is all hustle. So today I'm sharing five lunch box recipes that can be made quickly and are also very different from the regular sabzi and paratha. So let's get started. So for the Mondays I'm starting with the yummy and energy packed paneer potato cutlets. As Mondays are supposed to be lazy morning so having these yummy cutlets kids can be excited for the school. It is a very easy and simple recipe that you can try for a hustle free morning. I boil potatoes and store them in a refrigerator as they are needed in multiple things. Also keeping them this way will save a lot of time and give you chaos free mornings. Just grate paneer and potato and add 2 tablespoon of bread crumbs with some basic spices and you are done. Take the mixture and make the cutlets of any shape that you like. I am making simple circle ones because they take so less time and are quickly cooked. Once my cutlets are ready, I'll make a maida slurry and coat these cutlets in this slurry along with some bread crumbs. This is a great recipe that you can cook whenever you are in a hurry. For cooking these cutlets, I'll be using olive oil and will not deep fry it but just saute them on a pan with some oil. This will keep the cutlets on a healthier side. This is a quick recipe that takes me only 15 to 20 minutes to prepare at max and I'll be preparing the lunch with some makhanas as the nuts and ketchup for the cutlets. For Tuesdays, I am up for kids most favorite dish, yes that's pizza. So today I will be making pizza paratha that will be filling with wheat roti base and nutritious with vegetables and tempting with cheese. So yeah it is a wholesome meal that kids will definitely love and will finish every bite of their tiffin. So let's get started, I will be chopping some basic I am taking just few finely chopped vegetables such as capsicum, yellow capsicum and onion and adding some herbs, salt and chili flakes. The paratha stuffing is ready. Now I will be making a roti base. For the roti base 
I'll be co- I'll be rolling out the wheat roti, but is slightly larger than the regular roti, and keep it half cooked from one side and fully cooked on the other side. Once the roti is ready spread the pizza sauce on the roti and fill the roti or paratha with the stuffing of cheese and the prepared mixture I am using a handful of cheese and then approximately 2 tablespoon of the stuffing prepared for the seasoning I'll also be adding some oregano on its top and then just flip the half roti and cook it on the pan till it's fully cooked The yummy pizza paratha is ready to be served. I'll be packing this lunch along with some carrots and walnuts in addition to the pizza paratha. Having lunch boxes like these will provide your kid a wholesome meal. So for the Wednesdays I am making this veg rava idli. I will be taking 1 cup of rava and to this rava I will be adding half cup of curd. The sour curd you can add and just give it a nice mix. Add half a glass of water and adjust the consistency and let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes at least. Meanwhile my batter is resting I'll be chopping out some vegetables that I'll be stuffing in this batter I'll be adding chopped carrots capsicum and curry leaves In a pan simply add half tablespoon of oil and mustard seeds and cook these vegetable a little Just add salt and cook these for 5 minutes Once the veggies are done I'll be adding this to my prepared mixture that is now done and the rava is fully ready to be cooked Just add just the consistency and add the prepared mixture and give it a nice mix and just pour this batter in your idli maker and it will be ready in 5 minutes It is such a wholesome meal that contains rava, lots of fibers, energy and nutrition value from the vegetables. It is a good way to feed vegetables to picky eaters. Add 1 tablespoon of eno for the instant rava idli. It will give it a rice puff to your idlis. For the faster cooking I'll be cooking these idlis in microwave only it will only take 3 minutes for them to cook
The idlis are nicely done and it can be served with sambar as well as chutneys. I will be serving that coconut and peanut chutney that my son like. Guys, do try these recipes at home for your kids and if you like them then do let me know in the comment sections. Also like, share and subscribe for more such videos and hit that bell icon for the notifications. Now for the Thursdays, I'm making a banana pancakes and to keep it on a healthier side, I'll be using wheat flour. My kid refused to eat banana, so like every other mom, I also try to feed him bananas in every other possible way, be it banana bread or banana shake or banana pancakes. I want a lump free mixture so I'll be grinding one banana with half a katori of whole wheat flour along with some vanilla essence and 2 tablespoon of coconut sugar. These banana pancakes will only require 5 minutes of meal prep and will be ready in 5 so total 10 minutes of time and your kids lunch box will be ready. Also I'll be adding half a teaspoon of baking soda and baking powder to this mixture. Cook the pancakes on a medium heat and they will be ready in no time. And serve these with along some chocolate syrup or maple syrup or honey. You can also try them and can have it for breakfast. They will be super quick and easy and yummy to have in the mornings also. Now it's Friday and I'll be making vermicelli pulao that will be super easy and super quick and full of nutrition values. I'll quickly boil the vermicelli in a pan for about 2-3 to three minutes and then strain it away. Now for the tampering, I am chopping few vegetables. Uh, you can choose any vegetables that your kids like and can use any vegetables to cook these vermicelli. I will be adding some mustard seed and peanuts and roast them and then add onions and carrots and curry leaves and for the spices add black pepper and salt. Along with vermicelli, I will be preparing sauteed paneer. Take half cup of paneer and cut them into pieces and for the marination I am using salt, red chilli powder and a pinch of chaat masala. You can mix all these things really well and rest it for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, toast them in a pan and it will be ready in 5 minutes. While my paneer is resting, I will be adding vermicelli to the cooked vegetables and give it a nice stir and add the basic spices such as salt and black pepper and just cook for another 2 minutes and they will be ready.
this sorted paneer is such flavorful and such an easy thing to give to your kids in the lunch box and a protein rich recipe that takes no time So guys these were my 5 easy lunch box recipes I hope you will like them and do give a try and let me know which one is your favorite or you like the most bye guys take care keep watching and do like share and subscribe to momtech